Well, people, well, people, well, people, welcome back. Welcome back. This is Sharon and my two co-hosts. You know, this is Jamal. We at it again. And this is TC. We back at it. Well, what we got here, fellas? What we got here? It look like we got another old girl here. Another OG girl in charge. This is OG, triple OG, double OG, double OG, triple OG. I done told you where these women belong. If you can't handle power, go in the kitchen. Scrub them floors, cook those meals. Then in, in old girl's case, uh, change them pampers on that grandbaby. <laughs> Come on now. Can, can, we, can we get it right? Can we do something right? Every time it look like things going to work out for us, Somebody do something stupid. Well, lately things ain't been working out. It's all stupid stuff people doing. It seem it seems like us all black people, we just can't get it together. You just can't I mean you you get these positions, you do all right for a while, then you start then you start thinking like oh stupid. And this and this one's out of Detroit. She, she, she act like, I guess she was a non-profit director in charge. Yeah. Or she did deed fraud, skim, mm. scheme, and tar- scheme targeting wow. low-income de- uh, Detroiters. Wow. Well, how many homes was about? 30. She stole 30 homes. She stole 30 homes from people. And sold them. And, and one of them, she kept the living in. Mm. 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 Well, we ain't doing no, no more talking. We're going to play this video. Oh, well, before we play it, now you know what you're supposed to do, y'all. Like, com- like, comment, share, subscribe, and we got this from Pink Book Lesson. That's right. Give us a thumbs up. Now, don't play with us. Profit is being accused of targeting low-income residents of Detroit and stealing their homes. This scam was massive on a local level. The feds say the woman stole 30 properties as a part of her scheme. She's being accused of committing deed fraud. Mm. We're going to get into it, but first, take a second to make sure you're subscribed to the channel Boy, and I click tell the you. notification bell for all updates. I tell you. Detroit, if you're watching from the D, drop Detroit below in the comments. Tonight, more and more African American home buyers are hearing the word denied mm. from lenders across Detroit. And that's according to the latest Detroit City Future Study. It shows white mortgage applications have a higher approval rate compared to. Oh, we've been known that. That ain't nothing new. Reporter Faraz Javid gives us an in depth look at this disturbing problem that's been going on for decades and how it could stunt the community's growth. Metro Detroit is considered the nation's mortgage capital. But even then, most black borrowers are still getting rejected. Well, uh, we're going we're gonna to go past that a little bit. We, we, we want to hear about what old girl's doing. That's what we want to hear about. Everybody know black people don't get loans. Black, everybody know that. That ain't nothing new. Got to wake up. Got to get dressed. Got to stick to the routine. <laughs> what was going on? I explained to them my problem, and from there, they just took me by the hand and walked me through the whole process. We are celebrating 104 new homeowners, uh, which brings the total up to... Go skip past this. Over, she's been selling homes in the Wayne County area. But according to the feds, she didn't have permission from the homeowners. Mm. They're saying that Triple OG Zena was fraudulently signing the homes over to an imaginary person wow. before selling the properties to buyers and transferring all of the proceeds to her own bank account. Wow. She worked as a director of home ownership programs for the local nonprofit where she was responsible for overseeing programs like Make It Home. Zena used her position to take advantage of vulnerable homeowners. She was supposed to be making life better for them, but she ended up stealing their homes, selling them, and profiting from those sales. Just last week, the alleged property D scammer was arrested after mm. being investigated by the feds, where prosecutors say she stole more than 30 properties across Wayne County, most of them in Detroit. And get this. According to the criminal complaint, the triple OG city girl was living in one of those properties involved in the scheme. A leader at a Detroit nonprofit is accused of preying on low income residents and stealing their homes. Federal officials say more than 30 houses in Wayne County, primarily in Detroit, 
were impacted by this scheme that targeted those at risk of facing tax foreclosure. CBS News Detroit's Andres Gutierrez is at the U.S. District Courthouse with reaction. According to the federal complaint, the FBI started looking into Zinnia Thomas, the director of homeownership programs at the United Community Housing Coalition last November, when a special unit within Wayne County suspected she was filing fraudulent quit claim deeds and falsifying documents. This is a pervasive crime that occurs. The problem is that well, the pause and talk about it. Well, so she selling the houses to imaginary people. Oh, zing, zing. What? Really? I mean, do you not think you go sooner or later that going to start looking suspicious? And you go to get caught? I mean, really? I mean, come on now. Make it make sense, people. And Shannon Shaw would make it make sense. You can't. <laughs> Oh, what? She's stealing houses mm -hmm. out from under people. The mm -hmm. same people mm -hmm. she's supposed to be helping. Mm -hmm. She's stealing yeah. houses out from under. Why well, does it always seem as more uh, women on YouTube doing all these scams are getting in trouble? Because they outrageous. Is that right? They, 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 they just wide open. They don't care. The thing is, since... Oh, oh, Tiffany's out in public with her thing. Everybody gonna do their thing in public. She uh, she said, I mean, this don't make sense. You gonna sign these in uh, imaginary people's name. You gonna use your computer, your email, and your bank account to put the money in your wow. account. Come on, man. Wow. This is crazy. I mean, uh, did she not think people can put two and two together, follow a paper trail? Did she not figure that out? I guess so, but not only has she been a, a, um, a investigated by the FBI and arrested, guess who else been who's now being investigated by the uh, FBI? She's, uh, her name is Latrell Contrell in Louisiana. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, now she's being investigated. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> the FBI going to bring down all you trifling Good for nothing, husband stealing women. Yeah, I mean they they sleeping with other. They they don't have a problem sleeping with other people's husbands. They don't have a problem stealing money. They don't have a, a, a problem abusing power. I mean, come on now, go to the script club where that where that kind of behavior is acceptable. And then I, I'm gonna comment. I know this is a separate video. Well, we will comment on Roland Martin. Roland mm -hmm. Martin. The old softball interview with Tiffany Henyard. A big as his head is, he should have more brains than that. I mean, you would think so, but, you know, they say common sense ain't so common. No, Roland Martin, he over here, he didn't challenge her on nothing she was saying. Nothing. But guess who he did challenge? Jason House. He kept interrupting him and everything. Uh -huh. Oh, 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 Tilf, Tilf, everything she said, he just soaked it up. He just swallowed it up. We had rolling been swallowed. <laughs> and then, and what the words say? <laughs> <laughs> now, when he interviewed Jason House, he wanted to let Jason finish his comments half the time. But old Tilf, Tilf, he does I, mean, well, I, I guess he had... He 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 got uh, hypnotized by the eyes. Yeah, he was talking about those zombie eyes. They drew him in. <laughs> and then, uh, like I said, and then guess who else did an interview on? Yeah, somebody else. What's oh, the Angela? Yeah, Yee. Angela Yee. Mm -hmm. She did an old softball interview on her too. Didn't challenge her on nothing. Yeah. Well, it it it's it's known that. Tiffany is trying to get her uh, uh, YouTube uh, social media uh, account. Yeah, it's on Spotify. Yeah, Spotify. Yeah, she got her own podcast. She's going to spin her story the way she's going to spin her story like she's been spinning the yeah. story. Oh, like uh, old spider. And you got OG's grandma's scamming people. Mm. Yeah. No. This, this one was 60 years old. 60 years old. That's just like that other old bat down there in, uh, where was that? Was that Atlanta? Yeah, no, but, Texas. Wherever that uh, was, down there taking people houses. I can't remember where that was. But um, I'm going to say, 
Roland Martin has a vagina now. Oh, yeah, I'm going to say it. Oh, come on <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah. yeah, I said it. Well, he might like vaginas, but I don't mean nah. he got one. No, the softball interview he did, he got one. He, he didn't want to ruffle her. No. He saw how, how, how outrageous she can get in an interview. It don't matter. I did he talking about, let me explain something to people who ain't never interviewed nothing. Yeah, I never interviewed nobody, but I know you're supposed to ask the tough questions. Well, Tiffany get clicks for people. And that's why all he cared about. All he wanted was all he wanted was clicks. And he and he 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 wanted to, her to be able to come back. That's what he wanted. Yeah, that, now he's talking about he want her to come back on his show. But let's get more than this old um, scammer. Zena Thomas. Yeah. Zing, ling, ling, ling. Hey. You, <laughs> why you always have to play up people's names and faces? They, uh, well, That's what I do. Now let's get more of this video. And, and you know, no, no, I ain't going to say it. I'm going to leave it alone. The entry level for the U.S. Attorney's Office and the Department of Justice is higher than the typical uh, fraud that occurs. But in this case, federal investigators discovered Thomas allegedly conspired to steal over 30 properties from low-income residents. Mm. Here's how the feds say the scheme worked. Thomas allegedly filed a number of phony deeds who would then transfer the target properties from the victim owners to interim owners who didn't exist mm. before ultimately selling the house to unsuspecting third parties. And you seemingly have a number of people who are unindicted co-conspirators uh, those are people who are typically cooperating. There's also, I'm sure, other people who uh, will be interviewed and, and, uh, and will either cooperate or not. The United Community Housing Coalition says they're cooperating with the investigation and the individuals involved have been suspended. It's just disheartening that uh, an employee of a nonprofit um, would you know, take advantage of their position. Other housing advocates say this is an isolated incident that casts a shadow on their mission to help the community. Well, this happens, um, unfortunately, uh, and, and mostly to vulnerable people, either economically disadvantaged, uh, senior citizens, Right, we see a lot of times that these kind of crimes happen to disadvantaged people. Um, but there are a lot of organizations out here that are doing good. The United Community Housing Coalition works with the city of Detroit, who said in a statement they're aware of the investigation for several months and don't believe it has affected the quality service the city mm. of Detroit is receiving from UCHC and our right to counsel and other programs. In Detroit, Anders Gutierrez, CBS News, Detroit. Now, why would you like? Why would you want to go out like that? I mean, th that, that's a crime. That's a crime. Because the FBI is in it. That's a crime. Yeah, yes, it is. And why you want to wait till you're an old grandma and go to prison? That's a good question. I couldn't ask that for you, but you seem like if you're going to start all this stealing and corruption, do it in your midterm. I ain't suggesting you do it, but do it when you're kind of young. Well, no, see... The thing with Detroit, there's too many empty houses for you to do it the right way. Go bid on some of those empty houses one project at a time, fix it up, and resell it. Don't that make sense? That, make, that makes a whole lot of sense. And then don't be living in one of the properties that you kept for yourself. Because <laughs> how you going to explain you got that property? You lived, living in it. You living in it, but ma'am, how did you get that house? I stole it. <laughs> I was stealing it again. <laughs> Anything I want, I steal it. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, all these abandoned houses in Detroit. All of these abandoned houses. And you got to steal somebody's house at the end and kick up. Well, she didn't want to have to fix them up, I guess. It's, I mean, she could have bought a whole city block of abandoned houses. Especially especially after you done stole about 10 houses. <laughs> Stop by stealing 10. Yeah, and go ahead and use that money and fix the rest of them out. Wow. Well, no, she had to go for 20 more. Wow. <laughs> that doesn't make no sense. That didn't make no sense. All right. It absolutely don't make any sense at all. You can wait till you're 60 to go to prison. Mm. If, if I'm going to prison, I'm going to do this in my 20s. Yeah, when you got some time, you got time, you available. 
<laughs> now I'm not available. <laughs> now at 60 years old, why are these old women commit all these crimes in the 60s and 50s and late 50s? Well, they didn't got away with us for so many years, they think nothing's going to happen. That's true. Well, any more comments on this? I ain't got nothing else to say. I'm just disgusted. <laughs> well, let, let me give you the uh, people out there. Let me use a one a real estate one oh one. Okay. If you if you want to purchase houses and you want to get rich, they too many foreclosed houses out here. They too many abandoned houses that people just walk away from. Get those houses. I mean, I one one lady I used to watch, you know. You know that lady up there in Detroit doing all them houses? No, the, the little Nicole young... Curtis. Yeah, N- Nicole Curtis. She was getting houses for a dollar. She was buying a house for a dollar, some $10. And she would go through and fix them and make three and $400,000 off of them. Now, why can't we follow her, her actions and do it that way? The city got all these abandoned houses. They would love, they would love for you to bid on those houses and take them off their hands and fix it up. Can we please get get rid of this corrupt mentality? Can we please stop trying to get rich quick and underhanded and scheming? Can we just do things the right way? Just do it the right way. And then everybody wins. Can 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 we? Is it is that the Matthias? You know, do one house at a time. Sell it. Buy another house. Fix it up. Sell it. I mean, just just do that. There are a lot of unemployed handymen in Detroit that you can get to come and and work on these houses. You don't have to pay millions of dollars for uh, these expensive contractors. There are a lot of people who who work uh, is. No, some people just know plumbing. You get those people that just know plumbing. Come through the plumbing. Then, you know, if you have to save up a little bit, then get people to do drywall. And let, I mean, come on now. Let, let's just do it the right way. Let's just do it the right way. Like I said, like she said, if you already had a house, all you had to do is pull out the equity in your house. Yes. You probably got a home fix up for maybe about $60,000. Mm-hmm. If that. Yeah. Oh, you see how they be... Uh, uh, Getting used material and other stuff and 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 uh, re- refurbishing these houses. They don't spend a whole lot of money refurbishing these houses. That's true. I, I, I'm pretty sure with $60,000, you could have done the house yes. real nice. Yes. Then sold it for maybe what? Um, maybe $150,000, well, 200000 you know, What kind of where you live mm-hmm. and then what the economy mm-hmm. is like. That's true. Oh, how we black people just can't get it right. Just can't get it right. Now, of course, there's white people and other races that do crime, but guess who they watching more? Yeah, guess whose face is <laughs> always on the on, on the screen? Who who always show up? It's always us, the black people. It always <laughs> is. <laughs> well, we ain't got much more to say on this. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Let us let us know what you think about this scamming lady. Mm-hmm. I mean, I I would like to get away from all these uh. Uh, corrupt black women. I would like to get away from that, but you just, just can't seem to do it. One comes after another after another. Now, uh, because all these people are, are um, doing videos, you got the FBI involved now. I, I bet they sit and watch YouTube. Yeah, cause all we got, all we got to do is turn on YouTube. <laughs> it's always the black women and the black men. Yep. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Welcome to the wonderful world of YouTube. <laughs> it's a small world after all. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. Can we please stop? Just seriously. Seriously. Can we stop? Well, until next time, people. This is Jamal. This is TC. It's just me. You sound like you're disgusted over there. I am. I, I, I'm, I'm about like a, oh, 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 what old boy said. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Tyrese. Sometimes I wish I could be Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> well, until next time, people. We out.